You see, we're not thinking of death in a morbid way, but in an inspired way. Because you see, as long as there is life, there is death. In fact, some ways, death is the most important moment of life. Because, you know, it comes at the end of life. Hence, the most important. It's the summation of your life. Totality. That's why in the spiritual tradition, and really in the contemporary tradition, such as in Christianity, Buddhism, and others, reflection of death is something that cleanses the soul and makes you come closer to, if you're a Christian, to God. And main thing is come more closer to life. Very much. And to realize the real meaning of life. Because it's death that gives... It's like, put it this way, if suppose you were involved in a, almost a plane crash and you survived. When you come through such a crisis, then you begin suddenly realize how precious life is. A wonderful life. Otherwise, you fall asleep. Get stuck in this life. Limited, short-term view. Because the trouble with us is that, you know, even though we are going to die, we know that. Because we do not know when or how we are going to die, then we get distracted. But then what is the point of thinking of that? It actually refreshes you about life. It really reminds you the preciousness of life. But yet life is impermanent and death is real. So we have to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to take care of life because life is so precious and take care of the most important things, and not to waste our life. Not to waste our life. I remember recently, you know, Tibet's prime minister in exile, who is being neglected by Tibetan people. He's a great scholar, a great statesman. And he was saying, you know, he was reflective life, said, you see, 80% of what we do in this life completely pointless. Only 20%. So we waste our life. Why is present? We waste our life. Death is saying not to waste your life. Life is precious. Live meaningfully. Is that clear? Yes. 